Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog Channel. It's Lightroom Tuesday and in this video we're going to talk about some of the new changes to Lightroom 7.2. Hey folks, Lightroom 7.2 is out and while it doesn't have some of the big cool features like range mask that we saw in Lightroom 7.1, it does have one of the most important things and that is performance enhancement. It also has a few little file management things that are very, very useful and will definitely speed up your workflow and we'll talk about them in a second. But the perform enhancements are stuff that's been done with Intel to make better use of your CPU and your memory, especially if you've more than 12 gigabytes of RAM, which I do. So in this case here, it will have perform it has performance enhance enhancements for everybody. It's not just for people with more powerful machines. So you should see things like faster import, faster preview generation, you'll see faster merging with panels and HDRs, uh, you'll also see faster rendering in develop. Uh, in loop view, you'll also see faster walkthrough in loop view, we'll have a quick look at that. So some of this, this stuff is stuff that's kind of hard to show you, it's just something that you will experience as you're working with the program, that it will feel faster, you know, which is the whole point. When it feels slow, even though it may not be actually slow, your perception of it is what really, really counts. So I'm delighted to say that these changes are there, as well as some of the other little changes that we're going to look at now. So let's jump in and start looking at some of those changes. So we're here in loop view, or in well, grid view, now we're in loop view. And by literally just walking through here, just going to the next image, I'm actually going to stick a filter on here. And to do that, I'm going to show you some of the new filters. So there's these two new filters here, which is has edit and doesn't have edit. So I click this doesn't have edit, that would show all the photographs from this set that I haven't edited. Um, so if I go to grid view, we'll see them as a grid view. And if I go to the other one, which is uh, showing both of them, and then I turn it off so it just edited photos. So we can see the photos that I've already edited. So I double click to go into loop view. And as I'm just pressing the arrow key, and as you can see, it's coming up pretty much instantaneous from when I press it. So the walkthrough in loop view performance wise is far, far superior. So I'm delighted with that. As well as having these down here, we can also use them as smart collections as well as filters. All right. so here's one I've just been creating. And so as a sample one, this has as it has as it as it that's very hard to say now. Has edits is true. So you can have is true is false, and where you find that is inside develop. So that's where that criteria is. So I'm gonna look at what has been edited and set capture date to in the last seven days. So just stuff that I've edited in the last seven days. So if I click create, that will come up. We can see some of the stuff that I have edited in the past couple of days. So one new handy little tool I'm gonna to show you is to do with folders. So if I come up here to the top of folders, we can now see that we have a search bar. So that means that we can search for stuff the same way as you could in the keyword list or in collections. So I'm gonna search for Kira. So it's come up and we see that we have the one I'm looking for here, which is Kira Gallagher Salt Hill. And I have marked this with a little star to mark it as my favorite. And how did I do that? Well, just a simple right click on the folder, the option to mark or unmark favorite. Now you can mark groups of folders as favorites at the same time, but they get stored as a grouped favorites. So unless you specific, specifically want a bunch of f uh, folders to be marked together, don't use that option, just do them one at a time. And I could actually search in just favorites here by going between all and favorite folders. And that will allow me to go between them and just find favorite folders really, really quickly. So in this case here, we're looking for the shot secure from Salt Hill. We click there and it goes into the images themselves. So that was a very, very handy way of finding a named folder. That is why I would encourage people to always, always give names to the folders after you've imported. So even though I use this kind of date structure where I have the year and the month and then the date, I also add text to it to make stuff easier to find. So I can see it visually, but now that visual aspect of doing this over years and years is now paying off because I can now search in those folders, uh, which is a very useful feature for finding folders very, very quickly. So now that we're here, I'm actually going to jump to the map module. So just come in here to map and I've selected all the stuff. Oh, we've got to turn here. And I've already dragged some of these onto the map already before. So we can see here we got two sections here. And so if I just click on these, now it says that one, I've got one image selected. So these are selected photos. But if I right click on that, we get a couple of options. And one of these options is to create collection. So I click create collection. 
and we can now create a collection directly from the map module. So uh, these can also be set as a target collection and synced with Lightroom CC. So that is a look at some of the newer features that are in Lightroom 7.2. Hey folks, I hope that was useful. Please do give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you haven't been subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate you subscribing because there's a lot more people watching the videos than are subscribed. So please, please do subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you are subscribed and want to get notified of when the new videos come online. So like I say, they're on Tuesday for Lightroom and then on Friday I do photo related stuff. Folks, if you could share this with your friends, I'd appreciate that. So put it in your Facebook groups like Photoshop and Lightroom group, things like that. Please, please do share it on that as well. So I do appreciate that you've taken time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.